What is up everybody? It is Matt with Mikey Designs and we got Shannon the Shop Gnome over here. We're going to give it a few minutes while you guys tune in and while we finish finish setting up, we kind of had a, a long day at work so we're going to finish setting things up and I'm going to make sure Shannon's camera is all set up, make sure her mic's good to go. Shannon, you want to give me a little test? Yo! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we need to adjust it. <laughs> Anyhow, well, we're gonna wait, impossible. wait for you guys to the tune in, and then we'll get this party started. Is that a Christina Aguilera song, or Alicia Keys, or who's that? No. Get the party started. Well, there's two, I think. I'm not gonna sing, so I can't really describe it. Let's get this. Oh, let's. No. Mm. Right out of my hands, right? Alright. <laughs> what you guys don't see right now because it's off camera is Matt mm -hmm. just flipped me off. <laughs> As he took the vape away from me and my bleeding hands. <laughs> your bleeding hands. I cut my finger off. You didn't cut your finger I off. I did so. Hi, Jason. Scoob. Oh, Impossible has a joke for me. Ah! Sweet. I want to hear it. Is he going to let us know now? Can you? Yeah, I can. Just give me a moment to make sure I'm adjusting your camera. No, you're really not. He's being purposeful. Hey, He's being purposefully annoying. Even the compressor agrees. No, 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 no. Why do hamburgers fly south for the winter? Why? And the long pause until they die. <laughs> yeah, until it registers. Uh. <laughs> well, what's going on, everybody? Impossible Co. I know Shannon's already... Give you guys a, a shout out. Scooby Doo. What's going on, Scooby Doo? Speaking of shout outs, though, once we get. What's up, on... Jason? Speaking of shout outs, what now, Shannon? Once we get it on, I have. Um, you, have someone... some sh you have some shout outs? Well, I have one. Okay, I'm ready now if you are. No, I want. Are you, are you good to go? No, I want more people on. You're not oh, ready? You mean, oh, you need to go like, with the video? Yeah. Oh. What did you just drop? Makeup. Oh my god. No, not the makeup. No, not the $45 thing of makeup. <laughs> Tell Sin what is up. Tell Sin hello. So they don't freeze their buns off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right up Shannon's alley. I'll, I'll tell you one of the reasons um, we're not quite as prepared. Not that we ever are really prepared when we do go on. Because we do it immediately after work is the fact that Shannon was running through every single joke that she knows. I was not. To our employee. Yeah. You, I know a lot more you jokes. Are. I, lo I know a lot more jokes. No, you were about to tap out. I know all your jokes. You were about two or three jokes away from not having anything else. That's, just, that's just my own, own opinion. Be nice. My finger hurts. Oh, and then Shannon cut her finger off. Yep. Well, she didn't cut it off. She skinned it. He says skinned, but there was a lot of blood. You Anyways. Just, you just skinned it. That's all it is. I saw it. You I'm know like, what? It would probably be less painful if it was cut off because then it wouldn't have this annoying like flap that's like completely aggravated by the tourniquet. I'm a doctor, okay? Uh, you're fine. No, 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 no. My father's a doctor. You're an artist. <clears throat> well, you know, he probably would tell you the same thing that um, it's not a big deal. You just... Well... Also, my Skin father's... the top of your finger. Yeah, well, you know, my father's also really grumpy and not very sympathetic. And a terrible bedside... Has a terrible bedside manner. Yeah, I was just trying to go about it the same way. Because that fine. makes me feel good. You're fine. No, you really are fine. It's, Hi, it's, Indigenous. It's not that big of a deal. It's going to rot off. Hi, Indigenous. Uh, impossible. Oh, God, another. Um, What's up, Indigenous? What, uh, what do you get when a cat eats lemons? A sourpuss! Oh, my God. <laughs> You gotta, I need to put some major compression on you. I'm sorry, I got excited. Jesus. 
spiking out over here. Scooby's thing is a paper cut. No, I cut it open with a razor. <laughs> she cut her finger on a razor digging through stuff and found a razor at the bottom of her purse. Jason says switch over. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. You're good? Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch over. Because uh, I think we've waited long enough. What's up, everybody? Here we are. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Shannon cut her little finger top off. Yeah, she, she skinned it digging through her purse, and there happened to be a razor in there because she's wanting to do her makeup and... Stop it. Why? I always look this beautiful. It's not like I do it special. Exactly. Anyhow, um, so she she happened to find a razor while she's in there and just cut the top of her finger. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Apollo. I saw it. Yeah, you saw the blood going down like all the way down my wrist. It's not that bad. You just <laughs> cut your finger. You have terrible bedside manner as well. <laughs> Just saying. It really isn't that bad. It's going to sting for a little bit because you cut the... Uh, hey, Greg. You, you definitely cut into it decent, but it's not, like, awful. Anyhow, so... I don't know. I she's she's nursing a wound and put on her red lipstick to celebrate the occasion. What are you talking about? This is blood. Yeah, that's it. You put blood on your lips. Shannon's oh, a, it's a my vampire. Blood, so it's not weird. <laughs> yes, it's still weird. Okay. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's still it's, weird. Yes, it's still weird. Okay, get me can wrong. we like, stop talking about my makeup, please? We're not. We're talking about your finger. <laughs> Hi, Devin. Hi, Sauce. <clears throat> what's um, up, Greg? Sauce One, what's going on? Devin Mendoza, what's going on? From Washington, I take it. WA? DC or state? <laughs> I'd say I, I think that's from uh, the state. I would say I'm, state I'm, too. I'm gonna guess. Otherwise, they would say DC. Yeah. I would think. Anyhow, so we couldn't really think of any particular topic. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just going to kind of hang out for a little while and Antic if questions. anybody has, yeah, Devin says state and answer if. Anyone has any screen printing questions, uh, let us know and we'll answer them down in the chat. And by Or is it over it's over that away. Yeah. And by thinking about it, what we mean is we had a one com one sentence conversation about it. Hey, what's up, Rye Beats? Rye Beats! Yeah, we, we just haven't had time today. And, and then speaking of uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, happy belated Mother's Day. And so the, this past weekend, we we didn't really have time to, to think about any kind of topic. Or I would say a lot of it has to do with the fact that um, there's nothing really, aside from just us taking care of our orders and everything, I think we've kind of talked about and touched on... What's going on in our shop, really? At this point, we're just grinding through orders and we're just plugging along and getting Michelle more acquainted with some of the. So she's our graphic designer, so I'm getting her acquainted with our, our templates, our um, showing her how to do separations and all that. So and and that's taken some time, but she's, she's a quick learner though. Yeah, this, this is her third week here, and um, she's picking up pretty quickly. I think the things that are going to be, I would say, would take the the most time for her to learn is just helping out with the separations and her getting the hang of that because it's going to take a little while. Shoot, I mean, every project for me is still kind of, a challenge when it comes to separating things out unless it's something really simple but like say for instance i meant to take a picture and post it up on instagram of what we're working on so we <clears throat> finished this bat mitzvah design got the screens all taken care of and 
uh, started printing it today, and that even that was, I think it took me probably about an hour to kind of really figure out what was the best way to separate this design, even though I designed it and, and kind of Michelle contributed to it. So she she made changes to it because the client wanted it the background to be a, the Texas silhouette to make it more what what was her wording Shannon androgynous make it more androgynous, androgynous so that the boys yes. would wear it but it still has a damn neon pink bow <laughs> it does but you know we, maybe thirteen year old boys have changed since my day mm, they, they no I don't think so pink bows on their shirts I don't know but hey right she beats. wanted that she wanted the Texas thing. So we gave her the Texas thing. She loved it. I believe the phrase was so freaking cute. I have no idea what you're doing over there. You know who you uh, look look up again at me? Now lower your eye. Okay, stay right there. What What is the, the uh, mom's name from the Adams family? Morticia? I think it's the second time you've actually said that. No, it's it's because of the, the, the light, how it's hitting your eyes. They it's purposely the like lit her eyes up with a, a beam of light over her eyes. So raise your head up a little bit. No. Raise your head up a little bit. We have questions. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Morticia lighting effect going on. This with is the your second eyeball. time you've told me that I look like Morticia on the live. You and... don't look like Morticia. Well, you just got the the, the no, lighting I, I effect of Morticia going on. I distinctly remember it. I distinctly on. remember it because you were like, you kind of look like Morticia because the light was like hitting like right here. It was about this and time last year when the light like just decides is to it... hit me right here at this time. And then you were like, well, don't worry. I think Morticia's hot. And I'm just like, thank you. <clears throat> Are you done? No, I'm not, because we have questions. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I, I want to get people's feedback on this, Shannon. No, we have slow questions your, ever for that. I don't slow your roll. Slow your roll. My, well, I got a question. I got a question. for. I, I see your makeup bag and everything back there. But anyways, lift your head up just a little bit. Yeah, I fell over. It's time. Just, just a little bit. Is it, is it just me or is it kind of a, a Morticia kind of like lighting thing going up there, right there? It's the Stay lipstick. <laughs> No, it's not. It's the lighting. Anyhow, okay, Shannon, so we got some questions. What are those questions? Have we ever used um, her print... print I, I'm so flustered. Um, have we ever printed plastisol transfers and how did it go if you did? Funny enough, we got this question a couple days ago. And I was like, nope, we what, don't do that. What whole... Slow down there, Shannon. Pump the brakes there, Turbo. To answer your question, yes, I have. Screen well, I, I, I just said <laughs> plastisol transfers. Don't do it. Um, the the thing about plastisol transfers for us is we're competing with huge shops that, or or just corporations or businesses that that do that for dirt cheap, and for us to do it and justify it, we. I mean, we it, people generally turn us down on it because we're higher priced than than other people. So, yes, we do do them. I haven't done any in a while. I actually used to use Plastol transfers for quite a bit of things before we got the the plotter. Like I would use it to do individual names and numbers and whatnot. And this was before Shannon came on. So instead of ordering through like stalls and, and getting that stuff cut, pre-cut, I would just make a screen and gang everything up on the screen, uh, print them on plastisol, uh, blah, 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 excuse me, plastisol transfer paper, cut them with the powder and all that and, and use it that way. The so we haven't done a whole lot or or any plastol transfers lately. I mean, we've gotten not since I've been quotes. Here. We've gotten quotes for it, but you and know, like I said, it just panned out, and it was just more time than was you know. Right. So really, what it came down to is just. I mean, it's not worth our time to to do transfers unless it's for ourselves in house. But I mean, at the the point that we're at, we have a good system down towards where we really don't need to do it 
right. for certain things. In the past, I did as a kind of roundabout way of creating creating custom uh, names and numbers and whatnot to go on the back of shirts. But again, the, the vinyl plotter is what we use for that stuff. So and um, know how to do it, but we just go ahead, Chan. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, and Rybeats makes the best point of all. That's a Jason Ends question, because that's pretty much all he does. <clears throat> so if you guys are really curious about it, uh, talk to Jason. He'll walk you through it, hook you up, or take care of you, or teach you. Whatever you guys want, just talk to Jason. He's going to be a lot more knowledgeable than we are on it. So speaking of, since Jason Ends does quite a bit of Plastisol transfers, I'd be curious to know, Jason, how much you charge for your, your transfers and um, how how much business do you need to get in to actually make a, a good living or a good profit from doing Plastisol transfers? Because we, we pretty much kind of look at it just like, uh, and I know we're, this probably is, shouldn't be the way that we look at it, but I mean, we treat it like we're doing screen printed shirts minus the, the cost of shirts really is the, um, you know, we're, we're charging our pretty much what we would charge for contract pricing. And, and even then, like with the, uh, what we charge, it's still more than what other people uh, would expect to pay from someone else. So let us know in the, the chat, Jason, how you go about doing all that. Because um, I would say with our automatic, it's not the best automatic for doing Plastisol transfers just because it has a flashback. And it with that flashback, it has the cooling fans on it. So if that transfer paper isn't completely um sticking to the palette it will blow the edge up of that paper and then that flashback comes and just it'll just set that transfer paper on fire so uh, did it quite a bit on the manual but again um i've done transfers for people but i, I always kind of found it difficult to, to make good money off of it so maybe you might have the answer to that and, and how to make good money off that and do you charge a screen fee how do, how do you go about doing that stuff i imagine not you probably have a set price based on quantity colors and all that so let us know let let shannon the shop gnome and myself know because we're we're curious are you curious about it shannon or do you find like do you think that would be uh what are you doing over there? You just keep bumping the mic I'm with, sorry. with the desk. I'm, I'm trying to. It was, <laughs> it was a weird height. <laughs> Anyhow, seriously, I, I, I do want to know because we are, um, as you guys know, we, we dabble in a lot. The, the main thing we do is screen printing. We screen print on t shirts and then uh, we do stickers and we outsource a, a, like banners and, and whatnot. There's there's stuff eventually that we'll gradually bring in house, but after purchasing that automatic, it's not going to be for a little while until we pay off our little small business loan. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's something we could add to what we do, and I don't know, perhaps maybe instead of using the flashback, I could just uh, use our, our standard kind of IR flash and put it at station number two to, to do our flashes. So, I mean, I, I know there's a, a way that we could make it work. It's just we can't really seem to make good money off of it. Isn't that right, Shannon? So let, let's say, Shannon, let's say someone comes to us and they want a thousand plastisol transfers and we're selling them at based off of what we would charge for screen printing how contract screen printing but after after the fact after we print these plastisol transfers and run them through uh, so shannon hasn't experienced this yet but you have to run each single piece of 
uh, transfer paper through some transfer powder that is the adhesion powder and then you run it through the the conveyor dryer and you kind of semi cure it's almost like flashing it through like like we do with the um, foil you know how we'd run it through the dryer but you're not completely curing it and then when you put it on the heat press that's what cures it the the glue right. the adhesive to the the foil Kind of a little bit of a, a similar process, except for we're not doing the heat pressing, but we do have to apply the adhesion powder. And you basically have to run that sheet through a bunch of powder. <laughs> yeah, you've mentioned <laughs> shake, the powder. <clears throat> shake off the excess and then run it through the conveyor. Okay. Well, how busy are we at this um, hypothetical situation? Let's say now. I had contracted out to Jason. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I would. <clears throat> well, there you have it, Jason. Um, next time someone wants some you know, plastisol transfers, we're going to give you a holler. Yep, pretty much. Anyhow, um, has Jason answered our questions over here? I don't know. I'm still at the beginning. Okay, there, there. We, he did answer. Okay, we're going to come back to that. Shannon, go ahead and look through the the chat and see if there's any questions that have come up <laughs> okay. okay well first off well awesome my screen just froze um your screen just froze mm. yeah that's there terrible like like the movie frozen would you hush please <laughs> greg it's naked 100 very berry um Skaloo, talking about the vape welcome. juice here she's a dog mommy um and jason wants to know when michelle's gonna be on the live that's up to her you know that that's a that's a good question, and I'm glad you asked because probably never. <laughs> so I recorded, I was vlogging right this past week, or it might have been a couple weeks ago, and I I asked her I I said. Hey, do you mind if I record you and say, so basically she already up front just kind of seemed a little uncomfortable being behind or in front of the camera. She's generally the kind of person behind the camera kind of artist. I asked her if it was cool if I recorded her a little bit and she's like, what, like what? Yeah. And then, and then Shannon over here, the old white devil's advocate. Morticia, the white devil's advocate. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyhow, so I, I recorded her a little bit. And we had, uh, this was the first time that we had been. <laughs> this is the face she gives me often, which is why I've been wanting her on camera. Uh, so... This was like the first day, and Shannon, I want you to the the kind of join in on this. So I've, I was vlogging a little bit, and so it's the first day that it was myself, Shannon, Michelle, and Panda all together in the shop. Panda was doing screens. I'm setting up the press. Michelle's doing artwork and all that. And these guys here, I, I keep Michelle for whatever reason. What did you go grab that shirt for? Because I was going to show what I did. <laughs> oh, okay. So, anyways, I, I came in. I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of not really focused on where I'm going here. But since she went and got this shirt, I'll bring up what Shannon did. So, I, I came in after asking Michelle. And she's like, yeah, sure. And I told her, it's like, it's just going to be like a gradual thing. Like, I'm just kind of like, oh, hey, here's here's Michelle, everybody. Say hi new, to the new graphic designer. And I come through the door with the camera, and Shannon does this. Go ahead, Shannon. Which doesn't really make a whole <laughs> lot of damn sense. Excuse my French. You're we try to keep it family about? friendly, but <laughs> we're, we're adults and uh, we're human. Um, I have... What... <laughs> What just <laughs> fell? More makeup. Oh my god. 
You wonder why she cut her finger, folks. Y'all wonder why. Um, any because <laughs> I'm unfortunate. <laughs> You're just clumsy. <clears throat> and I, I love you, though. <clears throat> okay, so um, I, I'm trying to get like Michelle on, on video, and, and Shannon, obviously, she did that, what she just did. And it just doesn't Why make... Why is the makeup falling? It doesn't make any sense to me, because here she is live in front of the camera versus like, you're, you're in front of the camera... More, you'll be in front of the camera more at this moment while we're doing our live than you will ever be in any vlog or or, or tutorial unless um unless she gives me the the okay on that because it, it's not like I point the camera at her often. I've I've gotten shots of her where she hasn't noticed, and then I like. Wait, wait. Put like a, a quick shot in a video, what? like maybe in one or two of them. I don't know what you're wedding about. Like here you are in front of the camera. Like I'm going to well, just. Well, you know what? No, don't no, you, I, don't you I don't no, know no, what. Don't, don't. <laughs> you're a boy. I'm a girl. My logic is not going to make sense to you. So how how do some girls that? I don't know. Most girls take selfies. Take a lot of yeah. Take a lot of stuff. It's more so girls than it is guys. But I hey, mean, ask me it, how many selfies I have. How many smelfies? Sure. Okay. Um, no, I'm, I, I know the answer to that. So what I was getting at is um, I don't know anymore. I, I completely lost track. Scoob wants to know uh, you, that we didn't hire her friend Sin. What? No, she's uh, she's still on the run. -in. I mean, um, we're we're building a. Um, we're building a, a a Mikey army, if if you will. <laughs> Sin is That's... the next part timer that we're going to hire. Our goal isn't to hire anyone full time right away because <laughs> until we get to the point towards we can pay these employees full time salary, which we're we're getting there. Um, you know, anybody we bring on, we let them know that it's part-time and so really what we're doing is seeing how it, it works out for us and <laughs> by getting their it's help like... it's helping grow our business because i'm like not in here doing proofs and whatnot i'm actually out there able to get production done so um like there, there's never there, there has never once been a time that we've been completely caught up towards where we can just be like, okay, let's work on some non-client projects. Michelle, work on a piece of artwork, or maybe a t-shirt we could sell, or well, some fair, promotional stuff. Long. What's that, Shannon? To be fair, she hasn't been here that long. Right. We're still playing the Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm still training her, which is time and, and money, but it's definitely well, uh, money well spent. So I'm, I keep thinking in my head. I'm like, one of these, one of these days, we're going to get caught up with work, which is a good problem to have, not being able to catch up. But at the same time, I'm like, one of these days, I just would like to be able to get all caught up, and then Shannon have time to to do the Mailchimp thing and send out like some. Um, emails that are maybe some sort of sell or something like that we have well i'm gonna we, need michelle for that because lots of i tried it looked like microsoft paint no however I, i'll i'll show you what you need to do and all you gotta do is watch a youtube video and it will show you how I to don't do learn it. through that okay well then you i'm can, not a visual learner i'll i'll show you but then that's taking time away from me being able to get away get and out we'll no longer be caught up and and hence the catch-22 so the catch twenty two part is I'm constantly training people. <laughs> That's why we're never caught up. Anyways, <laughs> Jason um, <laughs> Scoob wants to know if are any of the design C uh, designs CMYK or simulated. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. What now? Any of our designs CMYK or simulated? Well. S CMYK and, and simulated process are two different things. So CMYK, you're actually oh, using translucent inks towards where you got your cyan, magenta, yellow, 
and you print those on top of one another with screen printing generally it's yellow magenta cyan and then black going from lightest to darkest and um you you get you can get more colors out of cmyk printing however cmyk printing is a lot trickier um i, I would say to like really perfect it you have to have some top-notch e equipment from your exposure to to your your press because doing it manually every single print is going to look different they're going to be different shades and then when you hand those shirts out people are going to be like oh why is this shirt different color than that one you know what i mean like we've gotten that often and, and we try to stay away from that so even if it's on a white shirt we'll do simulated process in which if you do have like say for instance in our case a six color press you can probably get maybe 11 or 12 different colors out of that just depending on how you set things up and in your print order because you can print um you can print red on top of yellow to get an orange actually i, I would say with the six color press you're probably looking at more like eight eight to nine colors because you kind of need to print them wet on wet before they're really starting to mix together so if you just if you just were to print yellow and then red on top of it it's not really going to turn out orange you kind of need it to stamp on the back of the other screens and kind of start to mix together for it to really start to work so um simulated process really is uh, even with white shirts mainly used on, on color garments is using solid spot colors like opaque inks and using half tones and you can actually use solid shapes as well the, the print on top of one another and you can create new colors but if it's like a big kind of solid color that you're trying to create a new color say for instance if you're using red and blue to create purple it's really not going to have that great of a it's not going to produce a really nice purple. So, I mean, you can make it happen if it's like a small portion of it. But it, that's from my experience, what, what I found about simulated versus CMYK. Shannon, we got some more, more questions? We do. Which, Just what do we got here? Um, he, Rybeats wants to know who's going to the ISS Fort Worth uh, and a good place <clears> to <throat> stay. He still needs to book a hotel not where we stay yeah definitely not where we stay i can tell you that the uh, uh yeah I the country in I, I stayed at the country inn before they're nice they have the um hmm. what's it called uh I'm trying to think of what it's called what basically breakfast a buffet breakfast thing free food they have free food free food yeah no no it's the continental is that continental what it is breakfast suck what yeah it's just like fruit and you granola. know what you know what shannon there's okay. no waffles yes there are they then it's have not a continental dude they have that is not a continental i don't care about the 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 term free food the... okay they have free food they have waffles it's not free because you're paying to stay there anyways the the point is um that was a good place the place we stayed at it started with an r what was it called Ryerson. shannon oh my god what a crap hole the, the place just smelled like feet and the the place had to have been flooded half the building was under construction i said i was sorry <laughs> <laughs> i said <laughs> i was sorry and i was like all of my high uh, of like you know hotel booking because <laughs> like the last place i had booked we were just like super ultra score yeah you did a great <laughs> job and that was uh in uh new was, like, bronzeville the, yeah new bronzville. we went to and then bon. the next weekend or whatever i booked the hotel for that and i'm like oh i have a great hotel booker. yeah <laughs> and I said, well you the place that smell like feet and you're one you for one jump. Shannon. you could jump and hit your head on the ceiling oh yeah and, and then the Let's just say that it was somewhere to, to lay your head and have a roof over you. It just, they, they charged you for break. They charge you for everything. So, yeah, that, not that place. But um, anyways, I wish I'd I recommend, recommend the, something the, else. The country. Um, just, just stick to, to what you know. I mean, like the, the chain I like uh, the hotels are 
just stick with those because chances are you'll probably get a a room that's decent. The the place we went to that I've never heard of. The, the Radisson is all over. Okay, well that one sucked. Okay, the Country Inn. I know for sure that one's good and is not too expensive. There. I like the Omni. Sorry, <laughs> bugs flying around. <laughs> All right, Me and my pony did, stayed there. <laughs> yeah, your you and your pony did stay there. <laughs> okay, uh, it makes me more. want to play the uh, the the cover to uh, Old Town Road where he's talking about. I hate that song. Him and his, uh, I hate that song so much. I'm gonna take my horse to a hotel room. <laughs> I'm gonna. Hi, Relio. Re, re, Relio. I'm, ignore, I'm just ignoring him. <clears throat> Hi, Relio. Relio. Waldo. Um, Red Roof and says, Where's Waldo? Good. Where's he at? Nah. I didn't see him. Um, What's up, Waldo? Just messing with you. Keep cranking House those videos Beast. out, man. Bada book, bada boom. Hey. Eh? House of Beasts. Have you ever seen the Babadook? That's like the scariest movie ever. Um, I haven't even seen it. it uh, Alexander wants to know in which industry... Like the one you write on a broom, uh, are your most faithful clients? Okay, uh, that's funny. Which? Uh... <laughs> no, I only thought it was like really funny just because I just mentioned <clears throat> the Baba Duke. Uh, um, I think we both can answer this, and I'm assuming you're kind of talking about like what niche, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Shannon, do you want to answer that? Um. Oops. Since um, you're you're the one that's been invoicing people here lately, and doing purchasing at least on the t-shirt end i'd say our biggest niches because I, I would say two at this point or three what would you say those are three. Or, or even if you want to classify them by money spent per year um i'd say nonprofits first and foremost right they Which, they stay very loyal um second i would go with churches Really? Churches? As uh, In terms of loyalty? Okay. Like, Jen just, yeah. sent, Jen just sent a whole new order. Okay. And we just finished one. Um, and then I'd, I'd say... Honestly, I'd say like people are fulfilling their most orders now routinely would be people starting their own clothing line. Right. So those, those would be my top three for us, personally. Yeah, I, I would agree. The... So there's one client that I we have had for uh, since the beginning of it all. It's actually the the largest order that I had ever printed, and it just kind of I was like, "Holy crap!" Three hundred t-shirts, and I had this one color wooden press with the flash just that I just purchased through. Um, my, the company's account that I worked for. And I'm just like, I purchased it. And I'm like, I'm going to pay you back later. And I use the profit from that job to pay for it. And so it's basically, I, I would say it's the, the autism kind of, um, that, that was pretty big until people started stealing my designs. And I'm, I'm just kind of like, okay, it's not a big deal. It, it's kind of flattering in a way, but um, yeah, that's we're not really, to it, <clears throat> we're not really getting those orders anymore because they're it's just been knocked off to no extent. We have one client that just took the or um took one of his designs and just oh, ran yeah. with it and like was completely fine just telling us no, I'm having somebody else print it. Yeah, I'm I'm having my sister in law or some crap print it. I'm like that's my design. Like, <laughs> and they didn't think anything of it. How, I don't know if we talked about. I kind of feel like we've talked about this before, but yeah, that was. Um, and, and I, I wasn't mad about it. it. We were we weren't even that much more than the, somebody printing in their house, really. I, I think we were like maybe forty dollars more, if even that. Do you remember what the price difference was, Shannon? I think the total came to maybe a hundred dollars difference. Oh, was it a hundred dollars? Yeah, about, I think about that. Yeah. Anyhow, um, we even offered to do like something special for uh, the the little boy that the shirts were for the the walk or whatever it was we're doing fundraiser. I'm pretty sure it was a walk. It's generally a walk. It was a walk. 
Oh god, it, it that to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like how are well, you just Well, she gonna... regretted it. She and that's the funny thing is she you could, you could hear you could see it in her email she was angry. She regrets the fact that she did not go with us after all because what what happened? What happened in that case, Shannon, where she's just like I completely regret it. You guys have been great. I know, and it ended up costing she, her a lot more money. Yeah. Oh, I think it was like because uh, the <clears throat> was it the sister in law flaked or something? Yeah, I think they. And she ended up having to do it somewhere really close, really fast. Right. So it was more expensive. I thought we were uh, so okay. So what I recall is her some family member or a friend or something like that was going to do it. I think it was her sister. They they ran with the money or couldn't do the the order for her and, and let her know at the last minute and then she got a hold of us and then a a place close to her because I think she is um she's in Arizona isn't she no no I, I'm New I'm I'm thinking it no it was I know it's that way I thought it was like in Kansas or something like that that way <laughs> what straight up <laughs> outer space. Anyhow, um, pretend long, I'm lying on a map. Long okay. story short, the person she originally was going to have do it that was not a, a, a full time business, and not that there's anything wrong with it because I did it for a long time. They were just an individual at home. Just I think they either I'm trying to recall exactly they either took the money and ran, or um, they did a combination of taking their money or like, hey, we can't. Do these shirts in time. We spent your money. We, we've had a couple of those lately. <laughs> the the towels, Christina. Oh, yeah. She's a sweetheart. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Made everybody very nervous around her because uh, she showed up in her cop car. <laughs> yeah. She's an officer. Um, very, very easy going. And uh, girl took, um, took her money and never produced the towels. And she she had mentioned that. She sent her the down payment, and that money should have went towards the towels. And the girl, uh, she, she had about a three month window, a three month window, and and took that money and spent it, and didn't buy the towels. And so Christina said, "Hey, what is going on? Um, can you at least send me a picture of the towels?" And she's like, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll send you a picture," and and never did send a picture. Sorry, we don't mean the the put, she ghosted. put put uh, what happened to you on, on blast, Christina, if you're watching. But um, we tend to share these stories with with people, and why, why it what is was that with that scratch? I just I just had to itch my arm. I know it was like so. My arm had my arm itch. Anyhow, um, which you know it it brings value to the what we do when we're. We're able to follow through with our promises, get our get things to the people uh, and, in a timely manner. And there, I mean, don't get me wrong. Occasionally, we booger crap up. And but the thing but is, we though, we it. yeah, we we take accountability. We make it for right. It. And if there's no way of you know actually producing it, we give them the most reasonable time that is possible, and we refund. Like that guy that wanted his the, those funeral shirts, and you were you were in the hospital. Oh yeah, but and I he, was just like, you know, he came in on is either Thursday or Friday, and was wanting them by Monday. But we were gonna do it. We were gonna do a rush fee. We were doing no, no. We did oh no, not. no, no. We didn't because he <clears throat> talked you down. Yeah, and I'm like watching this whole thing happen. I'm just like, I really should have been the one talking about he, this. He <laughs> he wanted us like we were telling him twenty five dollars a shirt, and then he was like eighteen basically, and I don't know I'm why. I'm the only one dropping things. I don't, ah! I don't know why. Yeah, but I'm I'm playing with this. Um, I don't know why, but I think I kind of just and this is probably one of the the flaws in myself as a business owner is just kind of buying people's bs in the sense that like oh yeah my my homie got shot i need and they came in with like <clears throat> 20 different photos that we scanned and 
took up about two hours of our time, and we were closed. It was on a Saturday, but I we happened to be up here catching up on work, and then they came in, and um, well, uh, it, I don't know, but because I I ended up with gallstones or wherever the heck it was and was kind of out of commission for like two or three days it was kind of like a blessing in disguise but i think that might have like set me over the top probably <laughs> probably it's, it's probably there's always a combination of stress the stress it don't get me wrong we uh, wasn't eating right we were eating a bunch of junk food and um was probably drinking more than i, I should have daily I because like of of the stress and what for me uh-huh. with stress comes anxiety and panic attacks and all, all kinds of crap which i could go in to for a while um anyhow th- sh- I, i'm not sure how we we got to where we're at at this point but that was uh okay yeah it was us being uh trustworthy and, and part of our value is you know we we keep our, our promise, and if we happen to screw up, we at least do our best to fix the situation. So, and one of the things though that we do say is no refunds. It's custom. Right. They're custom made. You don't get a yeah. refund. We'll fix it if we need to. We'll eat the loss, but we're not just. And I I would say we probably have had in the past couple two or three months oh. because oh. of mm. dealing with. Being a, a small business growing and kind of managing that growth and some of the things that you run into before you're like, okay, we just need to take that next step and make that new hire or purchase that new piece of equipment has been um, kind of stumbling and, and not exactly being on top of getting back to everybody as quick as we possibly can. And I think that's been one of the complaints or uh, and or, or the the proofs and not getting approval on those we're just like okay we need to get these taken care of instead of going we're and like cutting trying to cut corners like that, cutting out yeah. the proofs and it's not like we're being lazy or anything i literally stand here for 12 <clears throat> literally stand for 12 hours a day because if i lower my desk all the way down i look kind of stupid because it goes all the way to my uh, knees or by my ears and um i can't do that if there's a potential walk-in and so it's not like we're actually blowing anybody off. And one of our clients actually even said, like, I felt you guys, you were taking advantage of me and blowing us off. I was like, I didn't even see your email. Like, I'm going through probably 500 emails a day. Yeah. And, and that that ended up becoming, um, and like Shannon was saying, it's, it's not like we were just kind of like hanging out and just like taking our I time. My and every day. And kind of farting around. Like, we were constantly working monday through i think sunday was like probably the only day where we're just kind of like okay we wouldn't work although there there had been some sundays and we we would just be busting our butts like around the clock uh we, we would sleep like four or five hours and then get up and do it i got five yesterday i'm excited about that all over again thanks shannon what now nothing i love you you're pretty Anyhow, I have no idea what I was saying now. Five or six hours. You got five? Five bucks? (laughs) Anyhow, so the the point I was making is, at least from what I recall, (coughs) or got interrupted. (coughs) (laughs) Is the fact that... um, yeah, we we we've just been slammed. It, it it's a good feeling now, and the and it Shannon having uh, Michelle in here and Panda coming in to help with, um, just the the different parts of all the the tasks that need to be. Handled. I love it. I do, and I think it's a big relief. I'm still waiting to hear how. I'm still waiting to see how I feel on the day paycheck day comes. Yeah, so I got to do payroll tonight. <laughs> and um, that's something else I, I need to get set up for employees. So that's something I have to do. We've kind of been like with Panda. Oh my God, this is what it looks like? Go on. Sorry. It's not that bad, is it? It's terrible. 
anyhow, like, the yeah. So the, what is it like when when you're you're doing it, and then you have like say for instance Shannon and myself, um, and then you you add a third person. What we've been doing with pandas, just kind of paying them out. Um, not even under the table. There's a definite paper trail, but writing that off as um, kind of contract work, so to speak, kind of that category where it's it's not consistent enough to really have a payroll or anything for him. But now that we've got Michelle on and she's here, I mean, she... Thus she far, she's been here a, a couple days a week, right? But mm -hmm. I see it being more and more, and um, I mean, we, we're we're paying her good money, but I also want to have a way for her to clock in. Like we've been writing it on the board, which for our employees, just for us, like we don't need to write anything on the board. We're just we just get paid what we pay. We're we're salary kind of thing, right? And every month is different. Every month is depending on how well we're doing. But but with her and Panda, and Panda's starting to come in more often too. He's he's on the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday schedule. Is he coming in tomorrow? Yep. Okay. And he sure is. So anyways, I've I've looked into QuickBooks has a, a cool way for the do payroll and ADP. I think QuickBooks is a little less. I, I think it's, from what I recall, ADP was anywhere from like 25 to 45 bucks. And then QuickBooks is like 15 bucks or something like that. But which will be good because then we'll be able to just pay ourselves out that way and then rather than paying taxes quarterly or at the end of the year, uh, it just can take it out of pay and then not have to worry about it. And start getting a return rather than having to send money. Anyhow, so th those are some fun subjects that really aren't all that fun. That's part of business that just... That that's the kind of stuff that just bores me. I I enjoy setting it up, but at the same time, it's like holy crap! Here's here's a new change. Here's another change. What can we expect from this? We got an we got another employee. Holy crap! Are we gonna make it? <laughs> uh, no, we'll make it. It's just whether or not it's like okay, if this individual is really. Um, allowing us to to grow our business, or whether or not, um, <laughs> I don't I don't want to say like I'm gonna have to lay somebody off. Like I don't I don't like that feeling of someone kind of. You realize if Michelle is watching us. right now, she's like having a heart attack. No, she's not having a heart attack, and Michelle. Nobody's getting laid off or anything. She's probably not watching, well. though. No, she's not watching. Panda doesn't watch. <clears throat> Panda doesn't watch either. But the, the point is, the, the the point I was making is, is we have more responsibility <laughs> on our shoulders now just to make sure not only uh, we're getting paid, but the individuals that come to work for us are getting paid. Because like I said, like I was saying, I don't, I don't want to have to go through um not being doing enough sales or, or or being successful enough towards where we bring obviously we brought Michelle on because we're doing well and need the extra help. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So I I don't see that changing aside from when like <clears throat> December, the end of December and January, <laughs> where it's just going to be like, and we've, we've talked about it. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, our slow season is uh, December, late December, and then early January. So, um, right now, it, 
That's fine. Holy crap, this year's flying by. It's already pretty much the middle of May. But I don't know. I, I tend to not like try to talk about that too, too much and put that stuff out there a whole lot because now we do have people <laughs> that are uh, relying on us just as much as we're relying on them. But, you know, it's it's still and, and they know it's like a trial trial by fire kind of thing. Let's see if we can make this work and put you to work and and that also should light a fire under their ass shannon like if someone that that we hire is just kind of lollygagging well in the resume or in the job offer the the job posted. description yeah. it said lo lollygagging is cool no per, uh, it said that full-time hire would be dependent on the results that we saw from their six um their influence on the success of the company yeah so it, it's not like it's anything new and, and also they must be cool as shop dog yeah <clears throat> i think that even more so than the uh the full-time thing like that's more important you really have to be okay with the dog, like, occasionally The dog on jumping you. on you and wanting to eat whatever food you have in your hand? Yeah. You really have to be okay with that. Anyhow, let's uh, let's go to the chat and see... Oh, uh, I've been on the chat, damn it. <laughs> I know you've been on the chat, but we got... What, well, let's see what's Scott going on over going there. On, uh, is having surgery um, soon and... Wait, wait, prayers. wait. What, what surgery? Uh, right. I hope... Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, dude. I'm sure everything they, will there, go there's well. There's been a million things, honestly, uh, and it's waves. While they're saying, have you tried waves? Um, you taken over? Just for this one comment, because he's actually um, tagged us at Mikey Designs. Yeah. Which okay. it seems that is a, a lot of. Uh, I'm just gonna say no that we haven't tried it. I'm gonna take a look at that waves. Go ahead, Shannon. I'll, I'll let you take off from or, or take over from wherever. Uh... Well, there's been a lot of news, a lot of comments, a lot of talk. Um, I'm just going to try to find some of the questions. Um, Waldo wants to know if we trademark any of the work you custom make or anyone in general, do they? <laughs> no, not really. I mean... Technically, okay, so there's something that's come up here recently. And I, I think, so because I, I went to the art school and, and had some formal education in trademark and, and registration laws and all that, as soon as you create something, it's trademarked, right? When you actually, I mean, you can, you can file a copyright and everything, put your work... Um, send your work into the uh, USPTO. Um, you can submit it and, and copyright it and whatnot, and then you'll be covered because that's proof that you created it at a certain day and time. If someone knocks it off and tries to sell your design or, or whatever, you could take them to court, and that would be your, your proof. The only way that you wouldn't win is if they had actually created it or filed a copyright before you. Now the, the trademark versus registration thing, as soon as you put a TM on something and toss it out there, um, it's trademarked. What trumps that is registration. Now that's a whole process in itself where you're actually filing um, for this trademark and you're registering this trademark and you get that filed with the USPTO, and I, I, I'm familiar with this quite a bit because even the, the company that I worked for for 14 years, I did a lot of the filing for USPTO, and I would constantly have to add TMs, registration, uh, red, uh, register, <laughs> registration, or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I don't know if I'm mixing that term up with registration marks for t-shirt screen printing but um having a registered there it is uh, a registered trademark is it even if someone 
created something before you and they had that and they put a TM, they trademarked it in that sense. And then you went and registered it, then you own it because you're registered and it doesn't matter when they created it. You went and registered that. And then there, that registration trumps all. So, um, Anytime we create a, a piece of art around here, I mean, technically, if your file, the date that you created it, and if uh, someone just creates a piece of art or maybe a slogan or something like that, doesn't register it, I mean, you, you're the, the person that holds the copyright, the, the trademark to that. So um, anytime we create a piece of art, you know, we we own that and unless someone has more money than us and actually cares to go and register all that crap then i mean which for us it doesn't really matter we're not we don't really see ourselves creating the next smiley face design right shannon are you falling asleep over there nope just listening <laughs> to you talk <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so there's that answer. Shannon, go for it. Well, um, Waldo's saying something about handcuffs. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, <laughs> TC Crow 49 uh, wants to know uh, how is the best way to get an opaque soft hand design with Plastisol, one color, and what mesh? I would say use a 230 mesh, and if you're really that um, adamant about it being that soft, use a soft hand additive, which will reduce down the um, opacity. But I'd say use a 230 print flash print, or um, like we were using a 230 today on a design, and we did print flash, print flash, for the white base and it uh it has a pretty soft hand and we actually did a um color overprint on top of it as well and it's uh it's not rough. What do you think, Shannon? What do you think about the feel of that print? Which one? The one we were doing earlier today, the Bat Mitzvah. Thought about normal. Well that's because I normally use a two thirty or one. <laughs> <laughs> I like it doesn't feel like super rough, else. does it? No, and I thought the print turned out <clears throat> looking great. Okay, but, so there you, know, you have it. it just kind of goes to... Uh, okay, so say compared to the print on the wall right there. That's the, the one that feels the, like a lump of plastic? Yeah, compared to that, how soft would you say it is? Like snuggle bear soft? Okay, so there you have it. It's got the, the shop gnome's seal of approval on using a 230 mesh. Just um, make sure you got you a good, bear soft. some good inks. Use some quality inks like Wilflex or <laughs> Cat Spit. <laughs> oh, I think I just called it the. <laughs> hey, little Jimmy says that uh, Shan. <laughs> I don't even wasn't even listening because I heard I heard something about Shannon being a favorite. What? Nothing. Go for it. What were you gonna say? Were you making fun of me again? No, I said use use some. Quality inks like Will, Will Flex or Cat Spit. Okay. Cat Spit. <laughs> we hadn't heard from Jonathan in a while. Jonathan has the best laugh in the world. Okay. He, he's awesome. I, I think people got irritated with me because I bought an M&R press. I was like, I'm going to do what's right for us. All right. So House of Beast is giving, um, like you said, advice about Will Flex and higher mesh like 230. Um Hey, little Jimmy says, Shan Shan is my fave Specs <clears throat> pinup girl. I would love that! <laughs> what now? I'm, I'm his favorite Specs pinup girl. Specs pinup girl. That would actually be right up my alley. Cheers. <laughs> okay. <Hey -o. laughs> and then he said, Matt is... Uh, my favorite old car, the Rambler. <laughs> old car, the Rambler. Oh, <laughs> uh, just just wait till you get Shannon warmed up and let her get going. 
I speak when spoken to on here. Mm mm mm. Uh, don't you worry. You're you're being spoken to. We're gonna let uh, we're gonna let Shannon get nice and warmed up, and then you won't be able to keep up. Well, warm up. It's eight oh six. Yeah. Like there... I said, like I said, it's so uh, eight oh six, right? We'll be cutting out at like eight forty five. Go ahead. <laughs> we better not be. <laughs> we had to go like. We have to go. We right. have to go to Specs. Oh my <laughs> yeah, God! We have to go. To God Specs. forbid we miss your alcohol run. <laughs> your mother was the one that drank it all yesterday. Still, it's not for me. That's not coffee. <laughs> this is not warming me up. And it's not hot cocoa. So why are you holding it that way? <laughs> because my finger fucking hurts. Because I chopped off like. A tip of my finger? Would you say because you're a spec pinup girl that <laughs> Well, it's too much of a sauce. <laughs> you're just mean to me. Stop to eat stop talking with your mouthful. No. <laughs> Alright, so everyone's talking about the Rio system. The what? Rio system. Rio? No. Mm. -hmm. What's what's Rio? How do you spell it, Sham? R I O. <laughs> Rio. Now is that um accounting thing or payroll? I they no, I think that, it's Sham? a it's a it's a printing um Rio? Yeah, it's a printing thing. Huh. Yeah. It's like from all the way at the top. They're still they're they're talking about it, and I just I don't know what it is. We don't use it, so I have, yeah, I have never been um, educated on it, so I don't know what it is. Okay, uh, T C T Crow forty nine. Common question, but what emulsion is best for half tone, spot colors, and long shelf life? Mm, be honest, all of them will last you a long time. They just it's kind of like buying a new car. We had a five gallon bucket for there for a while. Yeah, it's like buying a new car. You know, they're gonna yeah. or yeah. a new whatever it is. They're just trying to sell you emulsion. Don't get me wrong; they can go bad if if you're not doing enough screen printing. But I've had a, a gallon of uh, the TZ Ulano emulsion that I held on to, um, and, and I was using. So I was using Ulano. I mean, I'm still using it to this day. Ulano TZ for uh, halftone stuff. Just happened to kind of stumble upon that and just found good results with it. It's not too expensive. Um, and and kind of like Shanna was saying, we had a five gallon bucket of Ulano orange for, and I'd say almost. Year and a half, I'd say. Okay, a year and a half. With those little manual screen printing frames, you can do probably about. 150 screens with one gallon so it lasted us a, a good long while and never had an it I've, I've never had emulsion go bad ever like if you're just I thought you were, go ahead i thought you were just mentioning to me the other day though that you think that the emulsion that one was going bad which one Oh, so the the TZ emulsion? Mm. It was getting dark. It was getting dark. It was turning dark, but it didn't go bad. I just didn't want to... <laughs> I wanted to play it on the safe side rather than wasting time and money coating some screens. I, I ended up using it all. But it was getting a little... It was getting... It was getting a little... It was getting a little iffy, a little questionable, but it still worked. Okay. <clears throat> so it's normally like a bright green when you start out, and it was starting to get like a really deep olive. I'm like, holy crap. I don't think this stuff's going to last much longer, but it did. It didn't go bad. Only time I've had emulsion go, go bad is when I didn't care for it, and then I let it sit on the shelf for two years, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to try it, and it just... <clears throat> Actually, I didn't try it. I looked at it. I'm like, oh, this is probably bad and threw it out. 
Okay, so Waldo says it's an ink mixing kit, the Rio. Oh, and okay. guys, I apologize. Cool. Um, we've been on for long enough. That I'm not going to get to everybody's comments. I just can only answer questions tonight. Okay, so I'm I, so sorry. I want to get to the Jason ends deal because we asked him these questions and then he uh, pointed this out. So he, um, I'm really <laughs> Jason. Then so we were talking about plastol transfers and yeah. us kind of charging what we normally would charge for contract screen printing and he was he says that i'm realizing it's not worth my time as well the real price break is at 100 sheets one dollar a sheet it's obviously more a sheet for less quantities I don't, i'm not sure i read that right it obviously it obviously more a sheet for less quantities it looks like i did no screen fees see we, i mean we make up some of our for some of our time and supplies with those screen fees there's a lot more to transfers than printing a paper, dumping powder, and semi-curing it. I have a recipe for softer prints, lasting prints, and a better printed t-shirt. The ink is $150 a gallon. See, even even though you perfected this, um, Jason, I'm not familiar with your setup, whether it's a manual or, or an automatic, but it, it just really seems to it's hard to compete doing these low prices and making it worth your time. Cause if you're talking $1 a sheet and you're doing a hundred sheets, let's say even if it's one, uh, one color and you're doing $1 sheet, you got probably about anywhere from for us. I know it costs us about four bucks materials only to, to make one screen. And then, you got the cost of the transfer paper, the powder, and then you got your $150 gallon um, of ink. I mean, it, it, you're like making 50 cents, maybe a little more a sheet. And so you're making 50 cents times 100, and it's 50 bucks. How long does it take you to do 100? I don't know. That's kind of how I look at it. So, anyways, I just wanted to get to that, Shannon. Um, I, I know you just mentioned that. Uh, we, no, we've got we've got a couple more questions. Um, Beautyberry, what do y'all mark up apparel? One hundred percent. One hundred percent, unless it's like a huge or larger order, or if we're just trying to win over a client. If we're trying to win over, it's, it's read, it's read and recognize, honestly, because this is, this is my department. <laughs> yeah. Look, Shannon's this, going to yeah. get after this question. At, at this, at this point, it's my department. And for the most part, I'm doing a little happy dance in my head, whenever they say they want a dry fit or a Bella, <clears throat> something like that. Cause we do still mark those up 100%. But if it's something like, um, hoodies or like a dickies work shirt that already just you know is already at you know 20 something dollars just re uh, wholesale then i will end up just doing 1.5 it's just read and recognize because i i most of the time i do 1.5 but there have been times when i understand that the person the client is money so that's 1.5 for shirts that are like 20 bucks. So 50% basically. Right. But then there are other times that I've looked people straight in the eye and just been like, okay, that's going to be $70 a shirt. They were Nike polos. So for the most part though, it's 100% unless we're really trying to win their business or if it's a client that we've worked with for a long time and Matt has already established a relationship of lower pricing on it right a and lot of those are charities schools and schools and um non and well that's redundant but for the for the most part unless you know that they're working with a limited budget and you want to get the account because you know that they'll actually keep coming back to you which in the long run really does pay for itself right so i mean if it's something like a simple one color job then and if if you're making yourself one hundred fifty dollars an hour, and you're still making that money, where even if you marked it up, the shirts up twenty five 
percent. You know, I we we kind of we right we don't. However, if it were a huge order, are you still eating? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I saw to. I thought I saw the peanuts in your hand. Anyway, so the, the point is, like Shannon was saying, two hundred percent until it gets to like a certain point. Once 100. it gets to. I would say over 288, that's when we start considering bring it down to 50%. Because at that point, we're competing with other people that are going to give good price breaks as well. And um, and sometimes we'll kind of get into a little bit of a back and forth. Well, this company is charging this. And then we'll kind of look at it from a, a uh, pricing for price profit calculator to figure out whether or not yeah, it's worth what, our time yeah that's what i was about to say that's when you break out your handy daddy calculator yeah and and at that point like if if we're losing money or like no no okay well good for you you found somebody else that's cheaper have and, fun and there is actually <laughs> no there's actually like something that um i learned when i was you know like really in sales that they taught me the response to someone that's so undercutting that you're losing money is congratulate them and tell them to take that deal and run with it because they're going to be a more of an issue if you were to like trying to work with them and it's just not worth your time so just tell them good for you take it and count your blessings that you were able to find this person right so that's one one of the things i learned as a just one of the trained responses you were supposed to do right and, and there there's all kinds of there, there's some great resources as far as sales tactics and, and ways to kind of approach that stuff because i mean there's also the the approach uh i, I forget the name of the the graphic designer that has a firm and uh watch some of his videos and he, he made a, a pretty good point like People ask, they're like, how is it that you're able to charge $20,000 for a logo design? And it all comes down to um, the, the value of that logo, the risk, or um, you just kind of have to assess everything, the, the risk, what, what your value is as well. And we take a look at that when I mean, we know that, I mean, we're not just going to do stuff for free or for you know, minimum wage. I mean, there we're what we do and the, the do it well. Like it takes a, a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of expertise. It takes a lot of, um, you know, not just anybody can get into it. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys when you first got into screen printing, yep. How'd that first screen come out? It sucked, didn't it? If, Matt if yours to, came out well, then congratulations because you're amazing. Matt tried to teach me on our second date how to code a screen. Was it our second date? Well, anyways, Matt tried to teach me how to code a screen. I broke the screen. <laughs> and and it kind of like that mentality kind of like goes back to like there's a a, a quote by Picasso where he um, someone had asked him, you know I what. What it, how does it go, Shannon? Well, what I was actually going to point out is that is so... No, I don't want to contradict you on camera. The point is, <laughs> is that he he drew up a piece of art for someone pretty quickly and, and gave them a pretty high price. And we're like, how are you going to charge that when it only took you, you know, a, a few minutes to draw? And well, it took him a lifetime to learn how to draw like that. I, mean, I actually want to hear this contradiction, Shannon, because you're just Picasso contra never said that. Anyway, it's, it's just, it's just frequently misquoted because it like actually came from like the 16th century and was retranslated and retranslated and retranslated. And then but you're, Picasso, like, you know, who just, gives a shit about who said it? The point is that's a valid point. <laughs> it's a very, very valid point. Okay. I don't care who said it. Well, that's why I was. My trying. feelings are, aren't hurt. I well, never... that's why I was trying not to say it. <laughs> Picasso was a con artist. He also had a lot of mistresses. Yeah. And drew okay. really weird art. I mean, I, I I had a college dorm picture of him, or not a dorm, my first college apartment. 
And I thought I was like, oh, I'll be, you know, trendy. <clears throat> I have a, a Picasso picture. <laughs> it took me five years to realize I had it like, hanging sideways. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's see if there are any other questions. Because uh, it, is, it is almost 8.30. And... <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm, I'm over here snacking on some peanuts. My peanuts are gone, dude. Nah. That sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> right, adult jokes. Can... Adult dad jokes. I don't have a dad. I don't have a dad joke for tonight. <laughs> I was trying to figure some out, and I'm trying to. I hate this fucking mouse, and I I'm handicapped, guys. Just so you guys know. You broke the mouse. No, I didn't break you, the mouse. I broke my finger. You broke the mouse. I broke the finger. So it's making. You're gonna like, break really the mouse. Awkward. You broke that finger. I'm not gonna break um, this stuff. I'm gonna leave it to you, honestly. What? What is it? The, the break the mouse? I can't scroll down <laughs> because I can't grip the thing properly. Okay, let me take a look here. Um, I broke my finger. Anyone want to see? Looks like we got a lot of comments here. Let's see. Do you trade? Okay, I already read that. She had hand go. I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> that yeah, that's like what I was saying earlier. Um, let's see. Thinking the same. Da da da. Chromaline. Jason ends. Thanks for that feedback. Uh, a lot of people tend to like chromaline. Let's see. I use Ryanet. WPB hybrid. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I just find whatever um, works best. I just try a bunch of different things. Whatever works for you, stick to it. Pat uh, Sagoon, QuickBooks Online has a great payroll. Awesome, because I uh, have looked into that and thought it looked pretty simple and awesome. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, and then that's that's his... F no, there we go. Uh, Will Flex, da da da, da. What's y'all mark of apparel? Okay. Thank, yeah, um, in the future, guys, if, if you do have a, a question, do at Mikey Designs and Silkscreen, and that will help us kind of uh, spot the questions easier. Um, so that way we can see the questions rather than um, having to go through... Uh, some of the conversations going on here, which y'all's conversations are funny as hell. Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to find a haiku. Oh, tonight, no, they're all about cats. No Craigslist. Yeah, I agree. Con congratulate them. Let's see. 2K, eBay is a good place. eBay? What are we talking about here? Okay. Um, my band used to play. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. I live in eastern uh, Kentucky. If I order from Catspit, where would it ship from? Um, it depends on what you're buying, to be honest. Um, he, he has stuff in stock that he sells. The equipment comes from California. He is a basically a rep for uh, Ranar. And... So if you do buy something from Cats, but use our, our promo code Mikey Designs. Jonathan, he's, super he's sweet. Jonathan's awesome. I know a lot of people give him hell, but uh, he's cool. He he's really cool. Life. Don't don't get me wrong. Like um, you know, we we try not to to throw the the cat spit like um, um promo code and stuff. Uh, kind of like abuse that too much and annoy y'all with it but i mean it, it does support our channel and if anything jonathan i mean he he's he's the original he's like one of the the original ogs out there that uh started doing uh youtube videos the, them and ryanette so i mean i just think they're great i mean i have nothing bad to say about any, uh, either one of those guys um cool people so, anyways, well, I think that <laughs> I think he's okay. <laughs> no, if you had a phone conversation, 
with Jonathan or Ryan from Ryanet. I know they're they're all out there selling equipment and that's just how they're making their money but when it it really comes down to who they are as people they're cool as hell when you say show so shannon i love all of them yeah like i i could hang out with them um screen printing aside if, if we hung out with ryan personally for like three hours we did even though we did talk business stuff but even still out. <laughs> Even still, just cool people. Uh, I wouldn't be doing all the, the ice bath crap that uh, Ryan does. I, I couldn't hang with him on that, though. That's his own. All well, them ice baths and I don't know. Ice baths? But, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see like on his Instagram. He'll work out and then he'll like jump in an ice bath to, uh, for the soreness terrible. of uh, his muscles and that all that. That sounds so terrible. Which... Anyhow, cat spit intro is too long and angry. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, he's he's kind of a uh, he's a heavy metal guy. You know what I mean? Like he's um, and and that just reflects in in his character and you know it is what it is. It's kind of like uh, everybody kind of puts their own little personality into their channels. And um, it's cool. It's cool seeing it. And I, I get it. It's that the intros are long and whatnot. But um, sometimes you just want to get right to the point. But hey. Yeah, you're you're right, Jason. I know you're not the only one who thinks that. But I, I think what it really comes down to is he does have some solid advice. And, it, and it's... And he's a sweetheart. <clears throat> it's... um. It's like taking a class online rather than someone just kind of getting right to the point. Like he, he explains things in great detail. So, I mean, it's, it's either your style or not. So, I'm not Oh, gonna, you mean he's a talker? I'm not going to put, like, push him on to anybody. So, either like it or you don't. So, I'm going to wear a wristband like Cat Spit. I didn't know he wore wristbands. You could wear a hair tie like me. Yeah, you can wear a hair tie like Shannon. <laughs> I had somewhere I was going to go with that but I'm not going to thank you I don't really know where you're going to go with that but <laughs> you know what I, it was going to be an adult joke but yeah that's what I figured <laughs> um, <laughs> I know my boy okay? uh, just use your imagination <laughs> <clears throat> I am trying and I'm still not getting no, you know what don't I'm just saying that think, even with my imagination like no 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 Think like super ah! bad kind of thinking. Dude, you're blowing up the microphone. Well, then stop trying to get me to realize what you're talking about if, and suddenly if me you're gonna, happy ignorance. If you're going to yell into the microphone, just step back. I'm about, about this far. <laughs> For real. It's clipping. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Anyhow. So, Shannon, have you found your joke or your your funny what what are we what are we doing today because um i have a joke we got 30 minutes before it's nine o'clock i have a joke <laughs> what's your joke well do you want to hear a joke about construction yeah is it funny i'm still working on it on construction do you got a do you got any like screen printing material i just told you the joke what is it Oh Shannon, I'm I'm dying over here. I'm dying because you tell like it sounds like the past couple jokes is you're gonna tell the joke, and I feel like you're just I don't even know when it starts and ends. That's because you need to listen, my darling. I was listening. Yeah, you were talking. Mm. What you need to do is find some funnier jokes. Okay, we are out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. What was the joke again? I'm just messing with you, Shannon. Jeez. I'll find a different one. You don't have to find a different one. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Um, I know Shannon would like to find another joke, but um, it's been Why fun did the hanging out. Why file a police report? It got mugged. I I didn't. I couldn't even hear you. What'd you say? 
Why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. Well, there you have it. We have... <laughs> See, that that's actually funny. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get out of here and... Whoops. Um, we'll see you guys next time. We appreciate y'all hanging out. And uh, Shannon, you got anything to say? Love you guys, hearts. All right. We'll see y'all next time, next Monday. Flat Earthers rule!